good morning to you all dear students so last class we have learned about the pillars okay so today here we're going to learn about a new topic that is the stupas and the monasteries so we're going to learn about the stupas and the monasteries okay let's get started the aim for our class for today is that students will be able to describe the key features of stupas and monasteries constructed in ancient india resources required or needed is your worksheet 2 that is your s2 your notebook and your exit content book all right so please get ready with your notebook your worksheet and then your content book before you start up all right the key words that we will use for our class is tupa monastery and rod cut all right so these are the three uh, keywords which we will be using okay so let's look into the meaning of those keywords all right first of all what is tupa it is a doom shaped buddhist monument used to house release of the lord buddha that is known as Tupa and Monastery, building for housing monks or other who have taken religious vows. They are known as Monastery and rock, rock Cut. It is the practice of creating a structure by carving it out solid natural rock. That is known as rock Cut. And I hope now you are clear with the meaning of the term very quickly let me just ask you a simple question all right what are the two important structures associated with buddhism we have learned in the lesson on new ideas all right so taking back to the uh, to whatever we have learned all right from our previous block we have learned about different religious right uh, new ideas so under that particular block we have learned ab about the buddhism and jainism all right so from there itself the question is asking what are the two important structures that is associated with buddhism we have learned in the lesson on new ideas okay so in that new ideas we have learned about buddhism okay so what are the two structure that is associated with buddhism okay i hope you also know the answer so see there are mainly two kind of building okay that was associated with buddhism that is one is stupa and another one is monastery all right so today we will learn about the stupas and monasteries that is built in ancient india okay that is uh, okay long long time ago all right so we're gonna learn about that okay now what i want you guys to do is observe the picture okay the picture of stupa and monastery that is you will find in figure 4 and figure 6 in your content book all right and then you please write one differences and one similarities between a stupa and monastery in venn diagram all right similarly i hope you get what is venn diagram okay so venn diagram is referring to this diagram all right like we have been doing quite a while so in that very venn diagram you write one differences between them similarities you write in the middle okay all right so write one difference and one similarities between a stupa and monastery and venn diagram in your notebook and you also read the section okay stupa and monastery after you have done the comparison all right so this is it so first of all you have to observe this given two picture okay and then you write one differences between stupa and monastery all right and then both means similarities you write here okay in the middle all right that is after your observation is done you will find in your content book page 94 okay as indicated here all right so let's get started for this one you please write it in your notebook all right coming back to the activity discussion portion all right okay let us discuss this activity question here is what are this building all right what are this building building of monastery and stupa what are this building what does a stupa look like all right what does a stupa look like 
what does a monastery look like and how are they similar to each other how are they different from each other all right so the question is asking based on this okay i hope you get it and i'm sure you are recording your answer as well okay so all right let's get started so this picture are so talking about this picture okay these two picture so these pictures are of a stupa and a rock cut monastery all right so a stupa looks like an invented inverted doom and the monastery it looks like a pillar structure all right one invented doom and one a pillar structure all right rock cut it okay so both of these structure are associated with buddhism all right and a stupa was built mainly to remember buddha okay and his teaching and also a monastery is a place where the buddhist or the jain monks and nuns live okay it is a place where the buddhist and the jain monk as well as the nun they live all right so i hope you get it now all right coming back to the general discussion portion here let us generalize our discussion okay so question here is what does the stupa have okay not what why why does the stupa have a doom like shape all right and where were this built okay where were the stupa built and why is there a pit okay and why is there a path around the stupa okay and why were the monasteries built what were the main features inside the monasteries all right i hope you get a question as you can also see from the slides okay you might have different answer to that okay so you can write your answer in your notebook so the doom shape of the stupa okay that represent the meditating buddha okay talking about this doom shape okay it represent it represent a meditating buddha okay and these were built on top of the remains of buddha means on top of uh, the remains okay where buddha was placed and his followers known as bodhisattva all right and the path that is built around a stupa is for devotees all right the one who goes who go and worship okay it is for the devotees to walk on as on all right that is as a sign of devotion as a pain as a sign of devotion the the path was built okay so for the for the devotees to walk as well as the monasteries were built for the monk and nun to stay in especially during the rainy season so whenever there is rainy season monk and nun they stay in monastery okay and it was difficult for them to move about in the rain because the reason why it was constructed because when it rain it will become difficult for them to move okay around in the place so also the oldest monastery were made all right that is by carving or hollowing out the rock such as the rock cut caves of ajanta and ilora all right so as you can also see from the given picture how the rock cut cave of ajanta is built all right it's built on a huge rock okay where they have cut the rock and then it is built in a shape of building okay that is how it was built within this cave all right it is a cave okay remember it is a cave within this cave there were prayer halls called chat ya and the room assigned to the monks and nuns to stay were called as vihara okay that you have to remember okay these two you have to remember please keep that in mind within this cave there were prayer hall prayer hall were called as chat ya and the room that was assigned to the monks and nuns to stay they were known as vihara okay so i hope you get it now let's come in, coming back to the hot question okay so let's try something higher order thinking all right so how does how do you think monks and nuns spend their time in the monasteries during the monsoon so during the monsoon how do you think 
the monks and nuns they spend their time like what they were doing especially during monsoon in the monasteries okay okay you might have answer to that as well okay so i'll take in i'll also take that into consideration but let me just give you a hint okay based on this the monk and nun they meditated all right they meditated probably had discussion all right sometimes they might have discussion and sometimes they might have studied or recorded the teaching of buddha okay that is the in the secret book called Pitikas. All right, the secret book book called Pikitas. Pitikas. Pitikas. They may have helped in making the wall painting. All right. So they might have probably did something. All right. Must be meditated, or sometimes they might have recorded the teaching of Buddha. Okay, and sometimes uh, they might have. Uh, they were also painting. All right, so those were the different activities that the the monk and the nun must be doing during monsoon. All right, I hope you got it. All right, so here is your work for today, okay? Class work. So um, please complete your worksheet, okay? S two. All right, please complete your worksheet S two, and then so also you please do your practice question. All right, along with this uh, worksheet. You also do practice question, okay? Practice question four, five, and six. All right. Practice question four, five, and six. You'll find in page number ninety-eight, okay? So that's it for our class. Have a good day. Take care. Stay safe, all of you.